want to make sure that we have shows that are very reflective and representatives of not only my background, but backgrounds that are very dissimilar to mine. I mean, if you look at these two shows in particular, American Crime and Guerrilla, they're well populated. They're populated with people who express what they believe, and they're complicated individuals. If there's anything that I think is uh, the DNA of a show that I want to be involved in, it's really about presenting perspectives, views, and characters that are not normally represented in the popular culture. To the establishment, it is this for which we live and for which we fight. Power to the people. To be really honest, in the last eight years of being in this industry, this is the first time I read a script where I actually felt that someone was talking to me with respect and giving me the dignity of being an actor. This is the kind of project where you go, you'll fight everybody in the way to get, to get right in front of the line to make sure that they take notice. Yeah. Your government lies to you. It oppresses you. The other part of it that we really got to explore, uh, Babu and I, Babu who plays Marcus Hill, is this relationship really under pressure and this relationship that is pushed up against a wall and they've got to really fight for each other, be really there for each other. What, what does that really mean? And it kind of felt like in many ways, yes, this is a political backdrop in a way that they're, they're fighting against, but you can actually extrapolate that and put that to everyday life because we're always in some kind of protest or some kind of a struggle, some kind of a compromise. And so how do you react to that? Are you really up for your partner or your friend or your family member or your daughter or any of those relationships? For me, that's just life in a way. And I'm sure people who have never faced 1971 England could still relate to it in a, in a relationship way. All right, guys, listen up. I need workers, all right? I don't give a damn if they've done it before or not. If they can stand up and they can pick, I want you to get them for me. When someone else controls you, that's exploitation. It was definitely interesting um, for me coming from such um, women that were tour de forces and to just have this woman that um, she's kind of given her life for everyone else mm -hmm. and to see how that affects um, her was a very exciting thing to explore. If you let me, I'll do everything I can to help you. When Aaliyah came in, she came in on a mission. When Terry came in, it was a mission. And with Kamara, it's about daily life. And it's not about, you know, pulling back the shirt and showing the S. It's that this is what I do. I help, I support. And we see that episode, episode, and I also don't want to give anything away, but there is an episode in the middle of that when she gets that phone call. Literally, someone is calling and no one else will help. And seeing this individual go out, it puts into perspective what individuals do when governments are not there, or politicians are not there, or other services are not there. There are people out there right now doing that kind of thing. I gotta be honest, if somebody had told me three, four years ago uh, that I would be sitting here with these shows, with this caliber of talent, being able to say these things, being able to say them in a broadcast space, being able to say them in a uh, streaming cable space. Um, it's an amazing time. It's an amazing time in general. It's uh, an unbelievable time for me personally. Um, it's special. And, and I think these two actresses represent just a group of individuals who realize how fortunate we are to be able to speak to so many things. I have to tell you, this moment right here is so special to me because I remember when we were shooting the first season of American Crime, when just the beginning of Gorilla, And then to be here right oh. now and be here with you and you is very, very, very special. No, I feel the same. I feel the exact same. Like I said, I thought I was gonna faint. When they told me we were gonna do this together, I was like, <gasps> they were like, don't faint, but you are doing this together. Just the one thing I will say, if, if we are fortunate enough to come back and do a fourth season and a second season, we just need to spread them apart a little okay, bit. Yeah, okay. We were shooting both shows in two countries at the same time. We'd and I, love to come back and do more. We're just going to separate them. Just separate. spread the love. You know this, John, but you were because you were doing both at the same time. You welcomed Babu on his first day on Gorilla to American Crime. He said, "Welcome to American oh my Crime." Gosh. <laughs> wow. And Babu looked at me, and I looked at him, and like, just let's let it go. Let it go. <laughs>